Hello, this is Mr. Cole, and here we have a modelling problem involving a water wheel. Um, it says, suppose a water wheel rotates at six revolutions per minute. We start our stopwatch. Two seconds later, point P on the rim of the wheel is at its greatest height. Write an equation describing the distance D of point P on the surface of the water in terms of the number of seconds T. So, um, it tells us... Um, when we get to a point at the top of um, the rotation. So it would make sense to me to try and find a function with cos, because that's telling us when we get to the top. Um, we need to find d, the distance above the water, cos in terms of t. So um, we're going to have our period in there, and we're going to have t. Okay. Now, what information do we have? We can look at the diagram to start with. I think that's the best place to start. And we can see we're starting, the, the principal axis is going to be six meters above the surface. So we're going to start, principal axis is six meters up. And the amplitude is seven meters. So essentially from the, from the water surface, we're going to go up. Um, 6 plus 7, so up to 13 meters in height and down to negative 1 meter or 1 meter below the water surface. Um, 6 revolutions per minute, so 6 revolutions in a minute, that means that our period or 1 revolution is going to take 10 seconds. So, um, uh, if we want to work out b, b is going to be 2 pi divided by the period, 10. In other words, pi over 5. So when I say b, I'm talking about this part here. So this is pi over 5 is going to make sure I get a period of 10 seconds. And then I just need to worry about this bit. And it, if I make this negative 2, that means I'm going to get to the top of my revolution uh, two seconds after I start. Let's try and build up a sketch of this graph. So I'll just get, um, let's just do some straight lines just to start with, just to set this up. Okay, so I would like to have, I need to go. If we say that's 6 meters, that's negative 1. It doesn't have to be totally to scale, but it's just a sketch. Um, I'm going to say here 13. That's how high I want to go. Um, I'm going to just put in some, some dashed lines just to make it easier for me. Um, so I need to... No, there's where my principal axis is going to be. That's how high I want to go. Oh, I'm trying to take that on a bit further. There's where my minimum's going to be. So this is how I like to build up my my graph. So it tells us two seconds. So let's go two and try and carry that on across. So four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's going to be one. Well, one period is 10 seconds, and if I go from 2 to 12, I'm going to get two maximum points. So let's put them on. So I get a maximum at 2 seconds. I get a maximum at 12 seconds. Halfway between them is 7, so that's where I'm going to get to my minimum. And then if I go principal axis, halfway in between, again, and just this is going to start here somewhere. So I'm on my way up from point P. I'm going to go up to there. And this is going to be tricky to draw. Go up to there. Down through here. Up through here. That's not bad. Yeah, that's that's what my, my graph looks like. And it says function with respect to T. So let's just label up. I've got this axis is T. And this going up here, 
This was my distance D above the above the water level. There we have it.